Good morning, Miss Jillian here. I am so excited to get to be here with you this morning, and I am ready to jump into the lesson. Are you? All right, let's do it. So today we're gonna be talking about one of the hardest lessons, and that is forgiveness. So if you remember, we've been learning about Joseph, and we've been studying his story. And so do you remember Joseph's brothers were so angry at him and they hated him so much that they sold him and gave him away and made it as if he had died. So that is where we're gonna pick up the story today. So Pharaoh has had the dream about the famine. He has appointed Joseph to be in charge of all of Egypt. So the famine has hit and people are coming from all over to get food. And that is where Joseph's brothers find themselves in Egypt. So let's pick up the story there. And we are in Genesis 42 to 45. So Joseph's brothers show up to get food. And do you remember? Joseph is now the ruler of Egypt. Joseph's brothers came and they knelt before Joseph. Do you remember Joseph's first dream that this would happen? It happened. See, God is never wrong. His brothers didn't know who they were kneeling before, but Joseph knew. He jumped up and yelled, it's me, it's Joseph. His brothers were so scared because they knew how horribly they had treated him. Joseph looked at his brothers and even though they had wronged him, hurt him, and done really mean things to him, he couldn't stop loving them. His heart filled up with love and he forgave every one of them. He forgave them after they had done really mean things to him. And this is what Joseph said to his brothers. Behind what you were doing, what you intended for bad, God was doing something good. God was making everything right. What an amazing story that we've been able to learn about this month. And the cool thing is that we've learned about Joseph and we've learned about this cool story he has and all of the lessons that God taught him and all of the way that Jesus used Joseph. And do you know the cool thing about that? Is that God wants to do those things for you too. God has a special plan for you. He has lessons he's, he's teaching you and he loves you just like he loves Joseph. And you are as special to Jesus as Joseph was to Jesus. Isn't that amazing? All right, so I know that we've been on Joseph all month and we've been practicing our Bible verse. So I wanna make sure that we have this memory verse perfect and ready to go. I know last week you guys submitted your videos. They were incredible. So let's practice it one more time. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, Jeremiah 29, 11. Amazing, you are such a pro. I am so proud of you. And now for my most favorite part of the lesson, the craft. Let's do it. So today we are going to be making our very own colorful coat, just like Joseph got to wear. So what we're gonna need, we're gonna need some glue, some scissors, some colorful paper cut into some squares, and then if you can have your mom and dad trace a picture of what looks like a robe. All right, does everybody have those things? Awesome. So once mom and dad have cut out your rope, I want you to take your glue, put a couple dots of glue onto your rope, take your colorful paper, and then go ahead and apply, and it'll start looking like this. Isn't that beautiful? All right, we're just gonna do a few more so that we've got all the pretty colors on there. And let's do one right down here. You've got your very own colorful robe. I'm sure it looks beautiful. Well, I am so happy that you guys joined me today. Before we go, let's go ahead and say a prayer together. 
Jesus, thank you so much that you have a special plan for us. And thank you so much that you offer us forgiveness and that we get to offer other people forgiveness. What a beautiful blessing to know that even when we mess up, you still have a plan. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, everybody. Have a good week.